Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, Bulawayo structures have refused to work with MDCT leader Thokazani Koop after she offered to rally behind Nelson Chamisa's candidates in the weekend by elections in 2023 polls. Koop made the announcement at a press conference in Bulawayo on Monday. The province said Koop's previous association with ZANU PF leader President Emerson Nangagwa made it difficult for them to trust her. The development is threatening to divide the party after the CCC national leadership embraced Koop. The party leadership also pointed out that the party was new and leadership positions would be decided by citizens. CCC Bulawayo spokesperson Swithern Chiroadza said, if Zandla Freedom Fighters did not accommodate Morris Nyathi who was accused of selling out the liberation struggle, why should CCC entertain coup? On August 9, 1976, Rhodesian Sealist scouts aided by former Zanla commander Nyathi attacked a Zanla camp at Nyadzonia in Mozambique, killing hundreds of Zimbabwean political refugees. There is no need for diplomatic talk with an enemy. We will call a spade a spade. Zulu King Chaka, a victorious military general, taught his warriors never to forgive an injured enemy lest the enemy heals, gathers courage and jumps to slit your throat," Chiroadza said. We are Bulawayo, the headquarters of Matabeland. We will not accept to be led by a person who run Nangagwa's schemes. The ink has not dried on the paper on which she wrote to two senators in the United States pleading with them to lift sanctions. This is the same Nangagwa who was the state security minister during the Gukurhundi era. Dot this is the same Nangagwa who was commander-in-chief of the army, Zimbabwe Defense Forces, that shot and killed six Zimbabweans on August 1, 2018. We will not drink with Koop. She is political poison. Chiro Adza said. Koop said her decision to support Chamisa emanated from talks between the two parties. Recently, she was seen posing for pictures with CCC interim vice president Welshman Cube and member of Ednico Beb. In 2018, opposition supporters accused Koop of dividing the opposition vote, scuttling Chamisa's chances of winning the presidential elections. She garnered around 45,000 votes. Her decision to rally behind Chamisa came a few months after she was fired from the MDC alliance by Douglas Munzara, where she was vice president. She then declared herself leader of the MDCT. Oh, ping it, ping it, ping it.